this is KB General and welcome back to the to the channel. So uh, today we're just gonna be talking about um, second year stuff, what to study and what books to use. So those who are going to second year and if you're going to second year in a few years to come, this will still be beneficial. So it's going to be a short video. I'm just gonna do as you know in second year that you have your anatomy, you've got your physiology and your practice of medicine. So the books you need, we're gonna start with uh, anatomy. So with anatomy, um, you need this. Wait, 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 you need this book. This is the book you need for anatomy. So um, this atlas for of human anatomy, Frank Nietzsche. So this is the book that you need, and uh, we're going to go on how you study it. Then you put it down. The second book you need, it's this one. Um, this is King Carl Moore, um, international edition. So I don't know if this is a latest one. I don't know which edition this is, but this can come more. So these two books, there's a third one, um, it's called McMinn, like it's an atlas also, um, just that instead of these drawings, right, um, instead of these drawings, it's going to be like the real human um, anatomy where there are cadavers and they took pictures from them. So you can also get one, it's, get that one, it's more beneficial. So these are the books you need for anatomy. So the most important one, it's this one. You need this one, right? That's the most important one. The clinical more, you won't use it more often. You know, it's for distinction candidates, but even them, they hardly use it. You won't really, really, if you don't have funds, I would say don't buy it. You know, if you don't have enough, don't, don't, don't try to, to buy it. So, Yes, so um, like I said, these, these are the only books you need, right? Plus the main one, that's the only one. So how do you study this anatomy, right? The thing is, whenever you study anatomy, you need to be opening your book. Whatever you are doing, if it's neuroanatomy, you need to open this book, you need to open your slides, and whatever topic you are doing from the slides, you also need to be opening this book. That's how you study. So the way I studied is that I would open this book, I'll open the slides and also open the, the notes that I got from class, you know, the points, um, like the notes that I did in class. So once you read, like neuroanatomy, you open a book like this, okay, you're reading about whatever, the cerebral cortex, then there on the slides you're reading about it and also what you noted down from the class. That's how you get to know it. So you don't study it as gross, then you go there and study uh, spotter test, you study them at the same time you know so that's how you study anatomy and once you don't understand anything that's when you come to this big book you know that's when you go there but never 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 say you're going to study anatomy with this book only go for it when you're not understanding anything that's how you make it anatomy so anatomy we are done with it don't forget the mcmin uh, uh book textbook now. so now the second one is physiology because you've got anatomy, practice of medicine, and physiology. So the second one is an, uh, physiology. With physiology, you only need this book. Only this one. You'll be fine to go. So with others, you hardly use the textbook. But uh, for understanding, remember that the, that the most important thing is for you to understand. So if you don't understand anything from the lecturer or anybody, you come here to this one. So um, you don't read it as like... You're just reading any, you know, like a newspaper or what. So there are many topics. Others are not emphasized at school. So you don't go there and read them. You read what was said in class or the topics that they said you must cover. So this is physiology. How you read it, physiology is all about flow diagrams. As you can see the first page, it's a flow diagram. So you need to read to understand. Just the flow, 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 flow diagram. You know, so it's just, just about understanding. Because the difference between anatomy and physiology is that once you get there and you don't know anything from anatomy, you won't pass, you will fail. But with this one, once you get the concept, you can try to think about it. You know, this happens, the feedback, you know, all the positive feedback, negative feedback. With this, once you read it once or twice, you can, you know, uh, think of something that is there. But with anatomy, when they say the nerve or the innervation, you don't know it, you don't know it. So with anatomy, you read more than two times or three times, like going through the same thing. So we're done with, with physiology. Then for practice of medicine, um, you don't need a lot of things from practice of medicine. I just wanted to add this 
uh, clinical examination. This one you should be having it from first year until you finish your medicine. So if you have money, I'll say that invest in this thing because you're going to need it like from year one up to year six. One and year. Even once you start working, you might need it too. So this one you might you you'll use it a, a bit in practice of medicine. So just get it, and it's a it's sort of a, you're gonna use it in third year, fourth year, more useful in clinical years. But if you use it in those uh, one year, one year one up to three, you're going to be the best because a lot of things are from here. So, but the main thing with practice of medicine is that you use the notes, the slides they give you from class, and you'll be good to go. So again, guys, welcome to second year. Um, this is a tough year, honestly speaking. It's different from. Uh, first year because of um, there's a lot of challenges now you're no longer doing chemistry no longer doing so this is a real medicine this is where you study medical school so you need to sweat you need to um, get everything done uh, you don't have to study two days before or three days before exam you need to start studying once you already in class you know so it's going to be challenging our advice that you get a mentor um, you get someone that maybe is doing third year or fourth year so that they can mentor you uh, into how to uh, to to make it. Uh, it's either distinction, it's either B, it's either C, or just a pass. So just get someone to help you go through it. And from me to you, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share and like. Peace.